present, thank you. So, before we proceed, please get yourself comfortable. And I realise that that sounds like a bit of an obvious thing to say. But the reason I say it is because sometimes and some people they may be sitting or lying down in one position and then feel that they're not able to move as if they have to stay in that one position for the duration of the recording and that is not the case of course obviously you can do what you want to do but it's good to hear it from me maybe to remind you that if for whatever reason you need to move your body in order to feel more comfortable then please do that because your comfort is priority. And that goes also for people that have uh, some kind of physical issues. So I myself have a shoulder and lower back issues. So I can be a little bit wiggly so sometimes when I'm in bed I maybe change my position when I need to. And that is fine. Because eventually as your body relaxes more and more and your mind relaxes more and more around will reduce and the more often that you listen to me listen to my recordings you almost find a groove like in a old record or CD or DVD find a groove that you fit. It's almost like reenacting the same scene of a play or a movie. And that is scene is you laying down on your bed. Your head touches the pillow, your body relaxes automatically and your mind slows down. Now, I realise not everybody goes to sleep lying down on a bed. Some people sleep laying, sitting up in bed because of, for whatever reason. Some people may s listen to this laying back in a reclined chair which supports your body. Don't listen to this when you're sitting in a normal chair that doesn't have sides because you could end up falling off the chair. So, I realise not everybody's laying down on the bed, but you can adapt what I say to your situation. Because you know that I'm aware that not everybody is doing the same thing. And I respect that situation that you may be in. And I've known plenty of people that sleep sitting up because of a physical condition we still need to sleep we all need to sleep every day for a certain amount of hours and that can be different for different people some people tell me that they only need five hours sleep. Some people need 
seven. Some people feel that they need ten hours. And there's others that would like to break up the sleep. So maybe have six hours sleep and then have a nap during the day in the afternoon. It's about doing what feels right for you. It's about being able to feel alert and awake when you're not asleep. So once you get over that period of feeling maybe, I don't know if you wake up in the morning, you may feel a little bit groggy for the first 10 or 15 minutes. And then it dissipates and I always find there's a different energy in me. My mental energy is very strong when I first wake up. I find I'm a little lethargic physically, initially. But mentally, when I wake up after being asleep, I'm kind of on the ball. And it's quite a nice feeling. tired for a short while, but there's a difference between that period when you wake up and that period when you're going to sleep, because that tiredness when you're going to bed and you're going to sleep, that helps you to fall asleep. your body and mind know that this is the process that is required and that is the destination that has been set and basically your body and mind needs that sleep when you wake up after being asleep is almost like a like an early morning fog and it clears after a few minutes and then when perhaps you've had your breakfast that gives your body maybe more a physical energy boost and you're ready for the day and I know that some people jump out of bed ready for the day ahead <laughs> maybe some people that do handstands you know excitement I'm not one of those people I get out of bed kind of slowly so the part I enjoy is going to bed to get an out of bed isn't the part that I enjoy as much I like that feeling of just relaxing and it's almost when you get an hour of bed you're going against not against yourself but kind of against gravity in a way because you're lying down and to get up you're, you're going against gravity which is a good thing because you don't want to be lying in bed all day and night forever. That's it's not healthy if you can avoid it. Although I do sleep during the day, but that's because I'm awake at night making recordings. So when you do get up, it's almost 
that's all you need to feel safe to go to sleep because when you've got something as powerful as gravity and oxygen protecting you you are really protected you can feel really really safe feels like it's purifying your mind with that clear oxygen that thing that is free to all of us always protecting us your body 